Vladimir Petrovich Demikov was a man whose groundbreaking contributions to science were as controversial as they were revolutionary. Born on July 18, 1916, in a small village in the Soviet Union, Demikov would go on to become one of the most influential figures in the history of transplantology, although his name isn't as widely recognized as others in the medical field. His experiments, particularly his work on organ transplants and head transplants, would leave the world reeling, sparking debates that remain unresolved to this day. In the early years of his life, Demikov showed promise, but his path toward medical history began in the most unlikely of places. After studying mechanics and working in the Soviet Union during the Great Depression, he entered the medical field, eventually earning a degree and focusing his attention on experimental surgery. He quickly rose through the ranks, but it was his work in the post-war years that would change everything. Demikov's fascination with the human body led him to explore the concept of organ transplantation, long before the practice was considered anything more than science fiction. In the mid-1940s, while most of the world was still recovering from the devastation of World War II, Demikov was experimenting with transplanting organs in animals, a feat that would lay the groundwork for the future of medical science. In 1946, he performed the first successful heart transplant on a dog. This was just the beginning. By the 1950s, he had pushed the boundaries of medical ethics even further, performing the first ever heart and lung transplant in a dog, the first multi-organ transplant of its kind in history. However, Demikov's most infamous experiments were the ones that would haunt his legacy for years to come. In 1954, he performed a grotesque operation, a head transplant on dogs. He surgically attached the head of one dog to the body of another, creating a two-headed dog. This experiment, which was seen as groundbreaking, also sparked widespread outrage. Many in the medical community saw it as a horrifying and unethical violation of nature, while others were amazed at the scientific breakthrough. His two-headed dogs became a symbol of both the potential and the moral hazards of medical experimentation. While his work was pioneering, it was also dark, leaving people to wonder just how far one could push the boundaries of life and death for the sake of science. But Demikov was not just a mad scientist in the eyes of the public. His work laid the foundation for modern transplantology. Despite the controversy, he continued to gain recognition for his achievements, though it came slowly. His work remained largely ignored in the Soviet Union, but internationally, he was hailed as a genius. His experiments influenced the careers of many, including the famous South African surgeon Christian Barnard, who performed the world's first successful human heart transplant. Barnard often cited Demikov as his inspiration and mentor, though Demikov himself remained largely uncelebrated in his home country. It wasn't until 1960 that Demikov published his seminal work, Transplantation of Vital Organs in Experimentation, the first comprehensive book on organ transplantation. This book helped establish him as one of the fathers of modern transplant science. His experiments showed that organ transplantation could be a viable medical practice, but they also raised ethical questions that remain a topic of debate today. How far should scientists be allowed to go in the name of progress? And who decides where the line is drawn between advancement and cruelty? Despite his groundbreaking achievements, Demikov faced a series of setbacks in the Soviet Union. His experiments were considered controversial, and for a long time, he struggled to gain the recognition he deserved at home. He was only formally acknowledged in the late 1980s when the medical community worldwide began to embrace the reality of organ transplants. Yet, Demikov remained a complicated figure, a man whose genius was matched by his ethical ambiguity. In 1998, Demikov died from an aneurysm at the age of 82 leaving behind a legacy that continues to provoke both admiration and horror. His contributions to medical science were immense, yet his experiments, particularly the head transplants, 
continue to spark discussions on the morality of scientific progress. To this day, Demikoff's name is linked with the darkest side of medical science, an embodiment of both the potential and the risks that come with pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. His work has been widely recognized as foundational to the field of transplantology, though his controversial experiments are still seen as a chilling reminder of the ethical lines that must be carefully considered in the pursuit of scientific knowledge. Vladimir Demikov's legacy is one of both remarkable achievement and unsettling moral questions, making him one of 